There's not much more to say about this movie except for What's a nigga grow a baby in his belly? Rock a rhinestone vest while ripping Justin to Kelly. Or maybe see a burlesque show with Nick Crow. And take a boat with speed to hitting cruise control. J Man, Big Paul, and the beautiful June. Gonna take you from the goob all the way to the room. Ran the games of Street Fighter, helped to blow off steam. Just a sucker punch the odd life of Timothy Green. Shock Nato to Birdemic, how we staying alive. They call it in the badass, and he's on the line. Cranking 88 minutes, cause they cool, cool as ice. ice. Cause a bad Jim Varney Looking kind of nice. Paul and June getting literal. Jason is getting laid. June is making sure all the monkey shots getting paid. They judge a bunch of movies while they're making the grade. Here's a real question for you. How did this get made? <laughs> That's a good look, Haru. What's that smell? <laughs> Hey, everybody, welcome to Matinee Monday. I'm your host, Paul Shear, aka Paul John. And this is a chance for us to go in the back catalog of How Did This Get Made? How Did This Get Made, if you don't know, is a bad movie podcast that I host with June Diane Raphael and Jason Manzukis. Uh, we just won the iHeart Award for Best TV and Film Podcast. So, how about that? Not bad. Um, and it was a great time at South by Southwest. And this is a movie that probably should not be playing at any festival. I am talking about Mortal Kombat, a movie that cost $122 million. $122 million. And the soundtrack went platinum. Steven Spielberg was such a fan of Mortal Kombat that he wanted to be a cameo in the film. Mortal Kombat has... Jean-Claude Van Damme allegedly so coked out of his mind that his performance is truly one to be seen. And it was a performance that could have had Cameron Diaz next to him, but she had to drop out after she broke a wrist. Although I feel like she may have broke a wrist after she threw the script into the trash. Anyway, this movie is bizarre. Uh, Christopher Lambert's wig. I mean, I can go on and on and on about that. But you know what? Why don't you listen to me in the past? That's right. When we actually did this movie, go on and on about that wig. It is truly something to see. We have yet to touch upon who I found to be the most bizarre person in this movie, which was Christopher Lambert. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, there's a fucking Highlander in this movie. There's a Highlander. <laughs> and he, Lord Raiden... And he, what's going on? Who is, is he? he cross-eyed? He, no. Well, I, it would be hard to know if he's cross-eyed because you can't stop thinking about his accent. His you know accent. I mean? so you can't focus on his face. I you're can't tell to if he has eyes an accent to or is where he's from. Talking That's baby true. talk the whole time. Well, his, it was such a. It was a fascinating <laughs> performance, though. Like, yes. I really. I, I will give him this. I really could not take my eyes off of it. Tell like, me more. <laughs> Every time he was on screen, I because I really did have trouble paying attention to this movie, and I'm so I am a little lost on a lot of this because it really just didn't hold my attention. But when he came on screen, I was well. He's always popping up. He's always popping into interested. everybody's conversations, and then he's presenting stuff, and he's like, "Ah, oh, you're finally learning." But he's never presenting any like he's like everyone like who I, is he at a certain up? point. I, w I was like, "Oh, he's going to train them." He yeah. doesn't train them. At a certain point, I was like, "Oh, he's going to be." The um, Obi Wan Kenobi, like he's gonna have to fight um, the big bad guy, nope. like the like Vader and Obi Wan's no. fight and sacrifice himself. Nope, he like disappears he for the character in the video game. Yes, yes. Of well, I'm June, assuming yes, everybody is. He is. Yeah. What does he do in the video game? Shoots those laser. I think uh, the lasers lightnings. are his thing, or like yeah. the lightning. Oh, so he does fight. Do he has think, laser eyes. Um, do you think any part of your fa fixation with him has to do with his unusual hairline? It's because I very think possible. He has one it's of the more unusual possible. hairlines in movie dumb. Like it's a kind well, of a Frankenstein. Yeah, but like <laughs> any movie you've ever. No, that's just But that's somebody's job to make a wig look good. I mean, you can't just like <laughs> chalk it up. <laughs> the look on June's face. For the line, that was a wig, though. Was Come on, priceless. That was a wig, though. Uh, Sweetheart, that was a wig. Um, <laughs> his, I mean, I don't really know what's going on with his hair, but I will say I have seen the Highlander series. Yes. It's as confusing. I agree with this. Oh, should we do I'm Highlander a, on this show? I think we should definitely do Highlander on this should show. Should we just do every Christopher Lambert movie? That should be our live show Also theme. married to Diane Lane for a very long time, I love I Diane believe. Lane. That's My great. issue about him, too, is that 
it clearly Raiden, or at least when I played the game, was an Asian man, hence the rice paddy hat. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like anyone yeah. else wearing a rice paddy Whoa. hat is offensive. I do feel <laughs> yes. like, I don't and feel like. Also, a, the wig was like, it, it's <laughs> it's definitely a Listen, wig. Listen, that could be a it's wig or not. I mean, but like. You think you could grow that length yeah, and I think thickness you grew that of out. hair? Uh-huh. Yeah. No, not as thickness. Welcome back to out. Wig Talk with June <laughs> Diane Rayfield. If you have they done a wig for Christopher face. Lambert, yeah. we want to have you on you the show. You know what? If you're a, a working Hollywood wig, <laughs> artist and have worked with Nicolas Cage, that, Christopher Lambert, really or John Travolta, else, But please I do see what us. you're saying, which is that the wig is following and mimicking a hairline that's already there. It's, and it's, but it's just pretty shocking. Right. It's pretty straight across it's in stuff. a way that hair, you know, doesn't ever grow. There is something, there is something amazing. I want to, I, I want to talk about, and this thing I think kind of sums up his character. So Raiden is this character who is, you know, the mentor, the Mr. Miyagi of this, who gives no information. Mr. Miyagi, you can at least look back and go, oh, well, he, the wax on, wax off, taught him this. Everything that Christopher Lambert said doesn't make any sense. Uh, the best thing I think that sums up this whole character is at the very end of the movie, what he says to these characters that just had a battle to the death. Here, take a listen. <laughs> I've got to tell you something. You guys did great. What is it? The Emperor. We considered fools I come from the souls. I don't think so. This is a big, violent action movie, and he just basically goes, you guys, you guys are so good. I'm so proud of you guys. Great job. Like, it's just like, it's such an unclimactic ending it's of like a, a movie. like a ruffling of the hair, almost. Yeah. Like, hey, you buddies. And then gives them you a little did it. That's right. You can listen to the entire episode released originally in 2014, right now, wherever you get your podcast. Uh, you just have to search for How Did This Get Made and Mortal Kombat, and you'll find it right there. Please remember to like, subscribe, do all the things that you do to show podcasts love and uh, by that, I mean, you know, review us. Tell everybody, your friends, that you like it because it helps. It does. It does. It does. And you know, it also helps uh, if you pre-order my book, Joyful Recollections of Trauma. Bam. There it is. I don't know if it just came up, but it would be cool if it did. Bam. There it is. Uh, <laughs> Joyful Recollections of Trauma is available for pre-order wherever you get your books. Pre-order it now. And if you do, you'll get exclusive access to my website where you can see stuff that you can't see anywhere else. Go check out my website right now at paulshear.com. Bye for now. See you next week on Matinee Monday.